Good morning, Ember Eagles. Happy Thursday. Happy almost Friday. Happy almost so close to the end of the school year. I have been thinking about a couple of things that I wanted to talk to you about that have kind of been keeping me up at night. And so I wanted to share some thoughts with you and some reminders as we get close to the end of the school year. And not just about the end of the school year, but as what good humans need to do. And I want to talk today about the importance of words. So words can mean nothing and words can mean everything. So if you say, I would like some food, that's communicating what you need and what you like. If you say, I want some food, that tone changes the meaning and it sounds a little brattier and it's not very nice. When we use words to talk about people and about things that they cannot change, that's being very mean. And so if you say to me, Mr. Dell, your scar is ugly, well, I can't change that. You're just being mean. That's not very nice. If you talk about someone's skin color or hair color or weight or religion, that's not things that they change. That's who they are. And whenever you talk about those things, it's really out of not being a very nice human and not being a good person. So I want you to stop and think before you say those things. When we're mad at the handball or four square or out in line and someone cuts in line or in the lunch line and we're like, oh, I don't like that, or you hurt my feelings when you did that. Those are much better words than talking about things that they cannot change. We sit there and we say how we feel. When you did this, it made me angry. Can we please share? Can, we pl can you please not cut in line? But when you talk about your feelings, it tells the other person how you feel. It is completely accurate and true. And you're not talking about something that they cannot change. And so I want you to stop and think before you say something. Is that something that they can't change? Am I being mean? Am I just trying to get at them? Or should I use other words to communicate my problem with the situation? You're going to have problems and you have to communicate it. But doing it in a not nice way is, is not a very good emperor eagle. It's not a very good human. And we have to try harder with that. The other thing is using words that have racial implications that have a history of uh, being involved with race and culture and religion, those words we can't use, not for any reason, even if someone else uses them, that is not something that we do. If you don't know what the word means, first of all, don't use it. Second of all, go figure it out. Go ask, why can't I? What does that mean? Why can't I do that? Why do I hear it over there? But she's saying I can't use it over here. Ask the questions, do the learning, do what students need to do. And once you know, do better. There are symbols and words in our history that will not change. For example, the Nazi army used the symbol of the swastika. That will never change. That will always have a negative implication. It'll mean hate. It'll never ever change. A simple drawing on a notebook and a piece of paper it means hate. It will not change. You are not to do that. And so when you learn through history, the events and what made words, why they are the way they are, we don't use them like that. And I know I always say it. I don't care what everybody else is doing. You have to be the good human. You have to be the emperor eagle. You have to do better. We don't do what everybody else is doing. We do what is right. And we don't use that language. There is an absolute zero tolerance policy on this campus for that language. And you will have discussions with your parents and with me about those words, because we have a place where people all feel included and feel safe as the best that we can. And if they don't, we do something about it. And you using language that makes people not feel safe or not feel loved there are conversations that have to be had because of that, because that is not who we are as Emperor Eagles. And so we're always learning. We're always working to do better. Now, words can change someone. You may not mean them to, and you may act out of anger, but they do. So you probably have seen this before. But every time you say a word, it's like folding a piece of paper. So this is their heart. And you say a word, and you're like, you're stupid. You're ugly. You're short, you're fat. <clears throat> Every time you say a word, it crinkles their heart. Now we say, say you're sorry. And you say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And every time you say you're sorry, you try to fix it. Sometimes you mean it, sometimes you don't. But in the end, 
the person's heart still is wrinkled. You can't get it all the way flat again the way it was before. I can iron this and it will never be the same that it was before. So if we use words that are filled with hate, if we talk about things that people cannot change, if we use words that have been used in history as a part of hate or symbols, there is, we can't, we can't do that. That is not what a good human does. A good human tries to keep the other person's heart intact. And if we make a mistake, we say our, we say we're sorry, we learn better and we do better. So today I want you to think about those things. Think about the things that we're saying, stop and think. Use feeling sentences. You make me angry because, take a deep breath. Do you really need to say that? Is that really what you mean? Do you hear it in music or your friend someplace else? Do you want to be that person? Do you want to copy that? Do you want to be better? Do you want to be smarter? Do you want to be wiser? Do you want to be kinder? When you leave the room, do you want people to say, oh, that person shows respect and is smart and is such a good person? Or do you want them to say, hmm, that person uses not nice words. I don't know about them. So always think about what is someone going to say when you leave the room? Are they going to say nice things or not nice things? It depends on the kind of things that you say. So stop and think. Take a minute. Be kind with our words. Say something nice to somebody else. Say, Ask them, how can I help? Can you tell me your story? I want to learn more. I want to be a better eagle, a better human, because you can do that. Not because at the end of the school year, because you are an emperor eagle, and that's what we need to do. We want to create an environment where everyone feels safe and loved and protected. And we always work really, really hard at that. And so we will continue to do that. And if you don't feel like that, come and talk to us and we will make sure we do all that we can. I love you. Choose your words wisely. They have a lot of power, so use them for good. I love you. Be safe and have a great Thursday.